it, it feels like coming home. You know, this was my first job in the West End 34 years ago. I love the bones of this show. I, uh, I owe this show a huge amount. And to come back playing a different role is, is exciting. To do it with this man just <laughs> makes it a total joy. No, likewise, and, I have to you know, say it's, the same. It's, 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 it's kind of felt like this is meant to be. We spoke about doing the, the you know, it'd be great one day to be able to play in yeah. this together. You know, as Valjean and Javert, and, and it was, it's, it's amazing that it's, that it's happened. Yeah, and, and, and to do it in this scenario, yeah. this production, I think, is, is utterly unique. There's, there's never been a version of Les Mis like it. Here, you're playing out, which is pretty tough, but as a comedian, it's a gift, you know, because you you've already broken the fourth wall. So I think me and Katie Seacombe, who's Madame T, who did it with me eight years ago, we're just having a lot of fun. We're improvising a lot, which is, which is, I'm quite surprised, but Cameron, Alain, uh, Claude Michel, they're very encouraging. They want us to be naughty, to, to kind of dance around uh, the roles. So, so we're, we're, we're having a lot of fun, we're being naughty. It feels very special to me to be able to play this character and to wear this coat. Um, I have the jacket from the O2, the 25th anniversary, which was the first time I ever played the role, and it did changed my it? life. I'd nicked it, man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I've nicked everything from so every I. production. I've got the original Marion. I've, I've got a table full of candlesticks. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre. I do still have heart palpitations every time Eponine's supposed to sing. I'm like, it's meant to be me. I'm like, no, I'm nowhere near the stage. It's not me. Calm down. Um, but no, it's lovely. It's really lovely to explore a completely different part of a, a story that I've never really seen before because whenever Fontaine was on stage I was somewhere else in the building or somewhere else on stage so it's really fun to get to explore something new in a story that I thought I knew so well. I, mean, I never knew when I moved Les Miserables from the palace that, that the Queen's would become an even longer home than the palace and it, the th theatre was literally falling down, or get it, well, would not hadn't fallen down, but it, it was in danger. It was getting to the stage where I knew I had to take something drastic. So, you know, we decided to take to 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 finish with it there and close the theatre, and f so that the show can reopen just before December. Everyone on this stage has a, a return story, a comeback story to Les Mis. There isn't a single person in the show, I don't think, who hasn't been it in some shape or form in the past. And so we were all a little bit emotional tonight because we all feel so privileged to have been asked back. It's just the best musical, isn't it? It's the best one. Everyone knows it's the best. So there's also just something amazing about... Because this show's going to be performed for hundreds of years, right? It is. But every single character is someone we can relate to and as we get older different characters mean different things to us and and are always going to be relevant it'll always be relevant saying that you know michael does remind me of madame Tenardier and um quite often he, he'll throw up. but that's only in the dressing room he has <laughs> <laughs> i used to dream that i would meet a prince but <laughs> god almighty have you seen what's happened since <laughs> <laughs>